Hey, what's going on, y'all? And welcome back to my channel. Hey, so today we're gonna dive into an important topic: acts in the United States Code. Y'all ever wonder how these laws are organized and made accessible to us in the United States? Well, that's where the United States Code comes in. So let's get started. So, the United States Code is like like a giant library of federal laws. It's pretty much a compilation of all the general and permanent laws of the United States. These laws cover a wide range of topics from crimes and criminal procedures to uh, commerce and trade, to tax laws, and pretty much, not pretty much, but everything in between that. Everything, everything that we do, all the laws that govern us are covered in the U.S. codes. So what are the acts in the United States Code? So basically, the acts are just individual laws that have been passed by United States Congress. So when Congress passes a law, it goes through a process pretty much of being reviewed, amended, and then eventually approved. So now, once a bill becomes a law, it's assigned a specific title and section number within the United States Code. Um, example, 18 U.S.C. 241. Um, but this allows people to easily locate and refer to the law when they need to understand its provisions. Um, definitely when we use FCRA, FDCPA, um, Truth and Lending Act, all those acts, um, those 18 USC's, I mean 15 USC, sorry I've been looking at crimes and criminal procedure, but 15 USC, 1681, uh, 15 USC, 1692, 1691, um, 1601. 1602, whenever you get to these laws and start understanding them, you'll be able to go directly to them and pull the entire law, the entire act. So these acts can come from pretty much a various amount of sources, such as like public laws passed by Congress, joint resolutions, or even executive orders that have been the force of law. But regardless of their origin, once these acts are codified in United States code, they are officially law federal law. Having all these laws organized in one place, like the United States Code, just makes it much easier for people like lawyers, researchers like myself, and just the general public to access and understand the laws that govern our country. It's definitely pertinent to get into these laws and understand them, definitely when you're dealing with consumer rights. Well, when you're dealing with, dealing with any type of rights, it's definitely um, important to understand these laws. Um, and they're there for you to go and understand them. So definitely get into these and, and start understanding what's going on. So next time you hear about an act or a law being referenced, remember that it's like a specific piece of legislation that has been assigned a place in the United States Code. Um, it's like a giant bookshelf of laws for us. So that's all for today's video. I tried to keep it brief. But I hope y'all found it informative and I was able to shed some light on acts in the United States Code. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated on my future videos. Thanks for watching and holla at you. Safe travels.